of a change in the uh, basically the breather pipe from the from the block. This goes sort of down into the sump area, something like that. These are plastic. I fit to all the Audi TTs and 1.8 T20 valves. They all have this on there. But the trouble is, because they're plastic, they they perish over time, get go brittle, and um, it's time to upgrade. So we got a nice new one here, which is all metal, which is good. Got a nice new seal on there, and uh, 19 mil barbed fitting. So we've got the catch cap tank set up here, which basically comes from the rocker cover down and then down to the, the lower part with the breather on the top. So like most of these, uh, they've got a big clip which you need to undo, which I've basically got there, but I fitted this um, oil temp sensor here and to be honest it's right in the bloody way to actually pull this off so i've pinged the pins out either side and it's just enough to actually uh, luckily lift this up and uh, pull it out what's happened here um because the fitting is quite a lot smaller than what's on here at the minute um what's on here at the minute is like that so you've got quite a long distance between sort of here and the end. So, because that's so short, the pipe I've got is not long enough, which is a bit of a pain, but I kind of thought that might happen. So uh, I've got a big bit of uh, hose spare, so that's good. So there's a better picture of it. So if you've got silicone hoses or anything like that, you uh, want to make sure you've got some spare because you probably have to extend it. So I'm going to extend this one. It's just too short to work with this new, uh, this new fitting. But luckily, I've had some spare 19 mil hose to use. So that's uh, saved me having to buy any more. So I'm just going to mark it up. It's not that much short. It's probably about another three inches four inches something like that will do it um best thing i found for cutting this pipe rather than using the hacksaw so then get some of these uh pipe cutters pvc pipe cutters uh plumbing tool grab one of these these cut up to 22 mil be absolutely fine on this pipe get it in there there you go cuts it perfect every time i thought i'll just take the catch tank off and now I've got this is that most of it will go back into the sump. Um, got rid of the, the mesh that was there as well. But it's not filling up with gunk or anything. All back together. So it's fitting in there really well. Got the clip back on just. So what I did do was put some PTFE uh, liquid, uh, plumber's liquid type stuff around this thread, the brass thread, and tightened it up into the bottom bit nice and tight, just to stop any leaks. Don't forget the O-ring when you refit this as well. So that's good. Um, nice healthy engine, looking at what's coming out of the catch tanks, that's all right. Um, Topped up the antifreeze a tiny, tiny bit. Um, replaced the hose at the back recently, um, just down here. Um, made me own up because I couldn't get what I wanted. Um, so I just had to top the uh, antifreeze back up. But other than that, good to go. That's what I like about these engines. I mean, I just checked the oil. Oil absolutely nice and golden. No problems with the oil. Doesn't use any oil. Flipping amazing little engine. If it's looked after, this is the trouble. You get a lot of people say, oh, they're crap, they're rubbish, they're rubbish, they're, this breaks, that's... Nah, because, you know, things like this, plastic bits of pipe, which, you know, can can break, you know, that's just, you know, it's cheap. I mean, that that, that one that I got, that one that I got down there, I mean, crikey, what was that, like 25 quid or something like that? 
So, you know, same with a dipstick. Just buy a new dipstick because they crack as well. You know, fit a new one. That'd be good for another 10 years or something for the price. Like five, six quid delivered. Uh, I've got this to re redo. I'm not happy about this. I want to do something about this. This is for the fan. Maybe I'll swivel it around or something. I don't know. But um just not happy really how that looks. But uh, we'll have a little go with that in a bit. But other than that, sweet, isn't that? Same with the coils. Just buy some brand new coils. Then that sorts the problem out. Even if you have to buy some new coils in a few years' time, you know, you get some decent Bosch ones and it's uh, it's good to go.